Hello guys, it's Cyberduin here. So in today's video, I'll be comparing sensor algorithm between the Mi Band 4 and the Mi Band 5 to measure the accuracy improvement that Xiaomi has promised and see if it's worth it to upgrade from the Mi Band 4 to the Mi Band 5. So comparing sleep analysis, running, cycling, steps counting, and battery life. At the end, I will answer the questions I got on subreddit and YouTube. And here I want to give a shout out to the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel, guys and girls. The setup for this comparison was the following. I bought the Mi Band Global version 4 and 5 uh, in Germany. I used the latest version of the Mi Fit app the version 440 in August uh, 2020 and the latest uh, firmware for both uh, Mi Bands because there was a new upgrade for the Mi Band 5 and 4 firmware and I did do the upgrade before doing this comparison. Make the comparison as fair as possible. I kept the settings at the minimum. I turned off app alerts because I was using two different phones. And this improved the battery life by 30 or 35%. I also turned off lift rest to view info to avoid accidental uh, turning on of the display, which also saved the battery. And I set the heart rate monitoring to sleep assistant. I set the display brightness to three bars. It was enough for indoor and outdoor use and also saved battery. Now to sleep analysis. I'll start with it because it's the most controversial one between the two bands. I was tracking my sleep for about 8 months using the Mi Band 4. On a good day sleep, I get between 2.5 and, and 3 hours deep sleep. When I wake up, I feel very, very, very good. On a bad day sleep, I get less than 2 hours or sometimes less than, sometimes less than 1 hour and a half. So this would be my baseline comparison between the two Mi Bands. As you can see, Sleep as Android gave similar results, almost no difference between the Mi Band 4 and the Mi Band 5. In both cases, it gave 4 hours of deep sleep, like very, very accurately. The duration of the sleep here is different because on the Mi Band 4, it uh, calculated some of uh, the time as awake while I was not, but it had nothing to do with the uh, Mi Band, but with the algorithm. Here, here you can see the deep sleep wasn't affected by that. Now if we see the same day on the Mi Fit app, we noticed uh, the sleep score is also similar, but the big difference between the two is the deep sleep phase. The Mi Band 5 gave almost one hour less deep sleep than the Mi Band 4. And also the periods of the, Mi, the deep sleep were different. At that night, I guess the Mi Band 4 was more accurate. Because when I have only one hour deep sleep, I feel really, really bad the next day. Where I didn't at that day. So it must be like more than two hours. On other days, the Mi Band 5 gave like 26 minutes of deep sleep. This is very low. I guess the Mi Band 5 has a problem in recognizing the deep sleep phase. Because the difference in this example is very, very big. On Mi Band 4, I had two hours. I woke up feeling energetic, feeling very good. And on the Mi Band 5, I had like only 42 minutes, which like I have never had it in my life. Other Both Mi Bands were able to uh, identify uh, wake up phases very good. Here the Mi Band 5 was better uh, than the Mi Band 4. So as you can see here, the average of my Deep sleep is in the Mi Band 4 is like 2 hours, which is uh, normal. 
but on the Mi Band 5 is like 46 minutes and it's it's very very low it cannot be true so this is why I think the Mi Band 5 has a problem uh, recognizing the deep sleep phase and maybe it will be fixed with uh, upcoming uh, updates but until now the Mi Band 4 is still better in sleep analysis. One thing the Mi Band 5 does very very good is NAPS recognition. It was very accurate uh, the time, the duration and it was very very good. I was very satisfied with it. I tried it like four days at f these four days I had NAPS and all of them were recognized Ran for about 4.75 km. Both Mi Bands were off by 1 km. So there was no difference between the two. To be honest, I still think it's a good estimation. It was like 80% accuracy. The, uh, the heart rate graph on the Mi 5 has more spikes than the Mi 4. But in, in the average and the maximum, they are similar. In other sports like cycling, the difference between uh, the two bands was even less. It depends on how tight the band on the wrist was. Results on running with GPS were very very similar, almost identical. Like the burnt calories and the average heart rate for example, they, they are almost identical even though there was a little bit uh, of a difference between uh, the GPS signal between the two phones. Uh, the heart rate graph, it, if we match the graphs, you would also notice that they are very similar. So the Mi Band 4 may, did a very, very good job actually, or still doing a very good job. And there is no, almost no difference between it and between the Mi Band 5. Cycling gave also similar results. Even though the calculated burnt calories is a little bit different, but the GPS signal is the same and the heart rate between uh, the Mi Band 5 and the Mi Band 4 uh, looks all, almost identical. So again, there is no difference between the Mi Band 5 and the Mi Band 4. Bring steps accuracy and miscounting steps. I uh, drove the car for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. And in other case, I drove, uh, I, I did ride the bike actually for two or three kilometers. And in both cases, both Mi Bands uh, counted extra steps without s stepping, without walking. But uh, I was surprised that the Mi Band 5 miscounted more steps, like 54 uh, steps. Uh, whereas the Mi Band 4 counted only 21, I guess. Uh, so almost double uh, the amount of, uh, of the miscounted steps. So here the Mi Band 4 did, ev did even a better job than a the Mi Band 5. The step counts was not al always identical on the Mi Bands during the day. In the morning, sometimes the Mi Band 4 had more steps than the 5 or vice versa. And in the afternoon, it will be the same, but at night, Almost every night, the difference was uh, very, very minimum. Like uh, the the difference was twenty steps between the two, or even two or three steps only. So even though they calculate steps wrongly or miscalculate steps, at the end of the day, they would match it, each other, I guess. Regarding the battery life, I am still a very, very big fan of the Mi Band Four because it was able, still able since 8 months to achieve 29 days each time. 
the Mi Band 5 did also good, like better than uh, advertised uh, with the settings that I chose. And uh, it made, uh, it did like nine days uh, under 53%. And I guess if it continues like that, which is usually would usually does, uh, it will do 19 days. So it's also not bad. 19 days is still better than the five days from the Samsung uh, band. But I'm a really big fan of the V band for for the battery life. Fusion. My verdict is the Mi Band Four is still the king of fitness trackers regarding basic sport and sleep analysis. If you have one, be proud of it, use it and enjoy it. The Mi Band 5 until now I cannot recommend it because of the deep sleep uh, analysis that it cannot accurately calculate deep sleep. But like any uh, software or any uh, program that is based on machine learning, it will get better with time. But until now, Mi Band 4 is the best. I hope this review uh, was able to answer all your questions. Thank you for your engagement, for your support. And I'm sorry if there was a question that I wasn't able to answer it already took a lot of time to uh, cut the video like 12 hours right now and I was doing extra sport the whole week to compare between the two bands thank you a lot uh, see you in the next video have a good day bye bye